Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hey, Jen. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Gloomy day in Chicago, but <laughs> a lot to look forward oh, to. Chicago. I love Chicago, but I'm sure, I'm sure that it's freaking probably. You are from the Midwest, right? From Michigan originally. Oh, I sure am, yeah. And I spent a summer in Chicago, which is like the, the, the coolest, most wonderful summer of my life. So it comes alive. Like, everybody just that definitely. So you're familiar. You're a Midwest girl at, at heart, definitely. <laughs> so um, I saw the film, and you know, uh, I've been following your career. I've, I've seen, um, I remember first seeing you in the Butterfly Effect Revelations the first time. And, uh, Aww, uh, thank you. Yeah, that was when I was in Michigan, actually. I got cast out of, out of Detroit for that one. Really? That's usually like a not a typical way of being cast in a feature film in, in a sense you've done a lot of different projects and television work and you've played a lot of different characters but this character in this film uh seems a bit different than anything you've kind of done and even the film itself you know a very sci-fi futuristic kind of film i was just curious like as soon as i saw you on screen like what attracted you to the film to, to kind of take up on this role and do this sort of different uh, film that you've kind of maybe been accustomed to maybe not doing yeah it was a complete challenge like i was i was a little bit intimidated by by the role and i mean like all of the, the, the intelligence and the knowledge that she possessed, she, she and Ami, you know, she was all together, and it was, it was a huge challenge, um, and also her, her, like, character temperature is cooler than, than the, um, like, pretty warm as a, as a, as a person, so I was, like, you know, very, just kind of honored that they would consider me to, to do this, and I, um, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't turn it down, it was such a, such a huge challenge, and, and it was just really, really great, I think, I think every actor looks for those ways to push them out, and it's definitely, like, one of the more difficult, difficult roles I've ever played. Mm -hmm. And you know, it is, you mentioned a challenge, in a sense that you are such a driving force of this film, and, and uh, there's so many scenes, especially kind of early on, where it's just you. There's nothing else going on, just you exploring the, the entire area, and is there a specific kind of mindset maybe that you have to get into when you're literally kind of isolated, in a sense, uh, on screen, uh, and, and just kind of have to make everything work, and... and uh, almost come alive and and sell all these things. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, the the set itself was so overwhelmingly crazy and and amazing and creepy um, that it was it was really the audience was experiencing it through Abby's eyes, and so so the set did a lot of the work for me to just be there to take it in and 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 let it affect me, um, which was easy to do, mm -hmm. so um, I found that to be a huge help because it was creepy down there and we were, I don't know, like feet underground and it was 40 degrees and um, there were, you know, it was really old and bats flying around and so it was, it was a force to be reckoned with itself. Yeah, absolutely. It, the, the setting is intimidating in itself. You know, it's so grand and so um, kind of almost dark in that sense. Uh, but also, you know, the film obviously doesn't have many characters, actual like human actors. So the majority of it's it's either you and, and Dominic and, and Tom. Uh, and it sort of has, to me at least, I found it almost like a theatrical feel to it, as if you were doing a play, because it's uh, like very intimate in that sense. Um, Dang, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get that feel too? That it was so intimate with with only a few actors is almost as if it was a stage play. How how did you kind of view that whole aspect of it with with having so few um, actors to work with, really? Yeah. I mean, I thought I found the, the simplicity of of the setup of the story to be really to be really helpful and engaging. I do come from theater. I study theater, um, like first love kind of thing. So um, it, it definitely did have that feel for us. And uh, the way that the since you get so much time, especially with hi Sarah, how are you? Hey Jim, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Gloomy day in Chicago, but <laughs> a lot to look forward oh, to. Chicago. 
probably. You are from the Midwest, right? From Michigan originally. Oh, I sure am. Yeah, and I spent a summer in Chicago, which is like the, the, the coolest, the most wonderful time ever. So it comes alive. Like everybody just lives it up. Well, definitely. So you're familiar. You're a Midwest girl and at, at heart, definitely. Mm-hmm. So um, I saw the film, and you know, uh, I've been following your career. I've, I've seen, uh, I remember first seeing you in The Butterfly Effect, Revelations, the first time, and. Uh, Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, that was when I was in Michigan, actually. I got cast out of, out of Detroit for that one. Really? That's usually like a not a typical way of being cast in a feature film, in, in a sense. Oh, yeah, okay. You've done a lot of different projects and television work, and you've played a lot of different characters, but this character in this film uh, seems a bit different than anything you've kind of done, and even the film itself. You know, a very sci-fi, futuristic kind of film. I was just curious, like, as soon as I saw you on screen, like, what attracted you to the film, to, to kind of take up on this role and do this sort of different uh, film that you've kind of maybe been accustomed to maybe not doing? Yeah, it was a complete challenge. Like, I was, I was, I was a bit intimidated by, by the role, and I mean, like, all of the, 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 and it was it was a huge challenge, and, and also her her like character temperature is cooler than than me. I'm, I'm pretty warm as a, as, a, as a person, so I was like, you know, very just, just kind of honored that they would consider me to, to do this, and I, and I couldn't yeah I couldn't turn it down. It was such a such a huge challenge, and and I was just really really great. I think I, I think every actor looks for those ways to push themselves. And, definitely like one of the more difficult difficult roles I've ever played. Mm-hmm. And you know, it is, you mentioned a challenge in a sense that you are such a driving force of this film and, and uh, there's so many scenes, especially kind of early on, where it's just you. There's nothing else going on, just you exploring the, the entire area. And is there a specific kind of mindset maybe that you have to get into when you're literally kind of isolated in a sense uh, on screen uh, and just kind of have to make everything work and, and uh, almost come alive and, and sell all these things. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the, the set itself was so overwhelmingly crazy and, and amazing and creepy um, that it was, it was really, the audience was experiencing it through Abby's eyes and so so the set did a lot of the work for me to just be there to take it in and 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 let it affect me, um, which was very easy to do. Mm-hmm. So um, I found that to be a huge help because it was creepy down there. We were, I don't know, like feet underground and it was 40 degrees and um, there were, you know, it was really old and bats flying around. And so it was, it was a force itself. Yeah, absolutely. It, the, the setting is intimidating in itself. You know, it's so grand and so um, kind of almost dark in that sense. Uh, but also, you know, the film obviously doesn't have many characters, actual like human actors. So it, majority of it's it's either you and, and Dominic and, and Tom. Uh, and it sort of has, to me at least, I found it almost like a theatrical feel to it, as if you were doing a play, because it's uh, like very intimate in that sense. Um, Dang, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get that feel too, that it was so intimate with, with only a few actors, is almost as if it was a stage play? How, how did you kind of view that whole aspect of it with, with having so few um, actors to work with, really? Yeah, I mean, I, thought, I found the, the simplicity of... Um, of the setup of the story to be really to be really helpful and engaging. I do come from theater. I study theater. Um, it's like first love kind of thing. So um, it, it definitely did have that feel for us. And uh, the way that the since you get so much time, especially with 